Actually, when uh, Roman Reigns won the championship, the fans were completely against it. And you know what WWE did? They turned down the audio mics so that the fans wouldn't boo Reigns. That's how much they hate the fans. And I seriously don't get how people still watch this company. I mean, that gives me another reason to despise this company because they absolutely... Okay, I couldn't pick up that piece of grain there for some reason. But that gives me another reason to despise this company because they hate their fans. And this is further proof that WWE doesn't care about the people. That they only care about getting their own agenda across. I knew this for a very long time, ever since the Royal Rumble 2014 actually, as a matter of fact. When Batista won the Royal Rumble, like, you would have thought that, like, Batista winning the Rumble would have been a very bad decision back then, but, uh, I don't know. But then when Roman Reigns came out on Raw with the WWE title, the fans were giving him thunderous boos. They, they absolutely despise him. And I don't get why WWE has... The, the, I've never heard a WWE Champion being booed this loudly. Heck, John Cena, he may be hated in the business, but he's respected. He's over with the fans. Roman Reigns is not over. I, I don't get it. I mean, for those who do watch WWE that are watching this, I mean, do you agree with my opinions on this company about how they hate the fans? Or am I just overreacting? Because, I mean, I personally feel that WWE just hate their audience. At least from my point of view. Some of you might agree with me, some of you might not agree with me, and that's fine. But if you seriously think that uh, muting audio mics uh, is not an indication that WWE doesn't hate their audience, then oh, yeah. yeah. That's all I can say about the WWE, but enough about that, because I mean, that's getting me a bit off topic from the game that I'm playing. So, yeah, the city. I like the music here. It feels like you're in like a... Like a jazz club or something like that like I like the different choice of music that they gave like each level here right it's important to collect pieces of grain as well because like uh, the main um, feature for this is to like uh, get the yep little lamp big city uh, I'm trying to think of what reference that was uh, I don't know why but I had this like bright lights big city in my mind by uh, what was the artist's name uh, oh, who was it Seal Green I think that's who it was I mean, I know that I normally don't talk about, like, pop music that much, but... I just thought I would make an inadvertent reference to that, to what Flick had said. And I think I'm a bit lost. Uh, do I know where I'm going? I don't think I do. Unless... Oh, okay, right. Okay, I think that I think this is the right way on where I'm going. I think this is... This is the right way. At least as far as I know. Hmm. Nope, it doesn't seem like it. Right, okay, I'm just gonna just take a risk here and just cross this acid. There we are. Yeah, the, there's an acid, the, there is acid you can cross, but it's a bit of a risk. Right, well, there we are. Like yep, and there we're on top of a playing card. I like how they use all these obstacles, like playing cards and everything. It's, it's quite clever how they designed this level here. And I believe I've got enough grain now to advance to the next area, but... I'm gonna get this uh, power up here. I believe that one sprouts up the berries. I believe that sprouts up berries, as far as I know. If I if I remember my uh, knowledge of this game correctly, just give her this enemy here. The more grain I collect, the better. And I believe, I think that is. Uh, I think those are checkpoints. I mean, well, I mean, I won't know, but I mean, uh, because if I die, then I mean, well, I will know if I die. And if I do die, then that's it. It's it's over. Now, so far in this series, like, let's play until I fail, I have never beaten the game ever in this series. Hopefully that changes up till the end. I mean, if I beat A Bug's Life and let's play until I fail, I mean, uh, which I don't know if it will, but if it if it does happen, then I'm going to be quite amazed. Because, I mean, I, that's a game I would have never expected to beat in Let's Play Until I Fail. Is there anything in this bottle here, in this glass bottle? I know there's a bit of grain on top of that. Never mind, doesn't matter. I can just hit the enemies here and just collect more grain. Okay, good. Alright, 27. Lucky number 27. Alright, so... Get rid of that. Wait, is it... Did I not just kill that enemy there? Let me just check. Let's just see here. Did I kill that enemy before? Yeah, I think I did kill those enemies. Right, okay, let's just um, move on to other enemies. Okay, so, as far as it goes for other games in the Let's Play Until I Fail series uh, that I'm going to be playing next, uh, uh, Skullcrusher, aka Zombie Hunter's Comeback, 
uh, requested for me to do a fail episode of Okay, I don't know how I didn't lose any health there. I landed clearly on that acid, and I didn't lose any health. So, I'm not sure how on earth I didn't lose any health. Is there not any more pieces of grain I've got to collect here? Where's the tourist information? Yeah, there was. Okay, I actually thought that was the end of the level there for some reason, but no. There's more to go. But I've got enough grain now, so I'm just going to go through this door here. And I think this is the end of the level right here, actually. Yes, it is. I recognize that. Okay, so here we are. This is the end of the level. What you looking at, kid? Well, I'm looking at you. That's what I'm, who I'm looking at. Well, hello down there. Hello. May I suggest that you find the rest of our troop, and then we can meet again at the bug bar. Of course. The bar's where I'll send them back to the dung heap. Mmm, easy as pie. As far as pie, no. What? I like raspberries! Excuse me, but can you handle grasshoppers? Can we? If you need help handling a crowd, our troop here guarantees a performance like no other. Why, when your grasshoppers arrive, we are gonna knock them dead! Well, there you go. Uh, I remember there, I remember there, the troop there. Oh, Circus yeah. troop. Uh, Francis uh, Heimlich uh, Slim... Well, the tuck and roll, those, I remember those names. Uh, Rosie, um, who was it, Dim, uh, Manny, and uh, Gypsy, I believe. Yeah, Manny, Gypsy, Rosie, Dim, and tuck and roll, well remembered. I've not seen this film in ages, and uh, I, or in a while, and I remember those names. That's a good memory I've got there. Yeah. Alright, so now it's time to find the rest of these. Uh... Alright. Okay, so I need to find the rest of the... No, I don't want... No, I know where they are. I don't need to look at that. Super jump. Uh, there's a cockroach there, so I need to find the... I need to find the super berry, like, around here. No. Right. Okay, I've backed myself into a corner here. Okay. Okay. Get rid of this uh, enemy here. There we are. Right, so let's see. Where is it that I find... Um, I believe one of them's up here, I think. Just need to get rid of this fly that's in my way. This fly's taking a lot of hits. I mean, I know that's a red berry that I'm using, but... Okay, I'll obviously I can't go up there. Uh, I think it's it. Yep, and I like how... This this music reminds me like of France for some reason. Like, I mean, like, well, I mean, especially when you hear the accordion in this. Is Okay, right, so Dim's over here. I know that. So I'm just going to go and uh, see him now. No! Okay. No, fly, no. Right, you'll go down. Yes, there we are. Get that checkpoint. Right, let's uh, meet up with them here. Hello, Mr. Ant. Did Ant find rest of us? Not quite yet, Dim, but I will find the rest of you. Alright, so now, uh, I'm just going to see if I can get my health back from this fly, because he basically stole it. Nope, no health. Spoil sport. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do this the hard way now. I mean, unless if I. No! I'm just gonna squash it. Right. Oh crap, right, okay, I better get up there right now, because of that. Gee, they're never gonna believe this back on Ant Island. Yeah, they won't believe it. Right, so uh, tuck and roll. I, I like these guys. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So, tuck and roll. I, I like these guys. I mean, they're 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 brilliant. They're a great uh, duo here. No, 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 no. Right. Good. Oh, I I seriously need more health right now because I mean uh, I could end up dying on this level. I could end up failing on level eight. All right. So there's Rosie. Uh, I know the Manu Gypsy are up on that uh, box there. Oh, hello. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you as well. And that's it? Okay, fair enough. Alright. Just, just Manu Gypsy to go. Jump. And hopefully I find them before I end up dying in this level, so because I don't want to end up dying here, because that's going to be a disaster if that happens. So, is there a super berry anywhere that I can get? Oh, there's a purple token. I'm actually going to get that. I'm actually going to use that on the nearby seed if I find one. Wow. Because, alright, get this checkpoint. 
Okay, right. I need to run away from this uh, enemy here because uh, he could end up killing me if I'm not careful. Right. I know that these uh, normal berries won't work on that enemy, so... Super jump. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. I actually Super didn't think... Berry. Right, good. Now I'm safe. I should be able to, like, uh, defeat these uh, enemies now with no problem. Just f constantly through berries. Oh, good. I actually thought I got hit by that web there. That's how close a call that was. Right. Where am I and Gypsy again? Um, are they up here? What's it? What if I make my way across here? Ah, oh, the jump. You, you see, the jumping to sometimes doesn't register properly for some reason in, in this game. Like, I don't know why. Like, I, I did press X, but Flick didn't jump for some reason. Like, I, the jumping in this game is not the best. No, they won't. I mean, well, if I fail, they won't believe it. So, now how am I going to reach them up there? Um, do I basically just go around here? I think I go around... No. Okay, how am I going to reach them? Because I have no... I'm pretty sure I did do this before, but... Honestly, going to get into them, I think, is the hardest part. I'm just going to have to keep exploring until I find... Uh, somewhere to go. Oh, good. Avoided it. Yeah, I'm going around in a circle here. Right, okay, I'm just going to go a different direction here. Just go straight over here. Okay, get rid of this fly. And just keep going, yeah. Sorry if I'm not going to have anything interesting to say, guys, but I'm just uh, trying to, like... Right, get rid of this cockroach that's in my way. There we are. What if I'm up here? Oh, I think I know. I think I know where to go here. Well, you don't need super jump technically to be this level. I mean, I know that. Yeah, ah, here it is. I think I remember now. It's calling back to me. So basically, it's over here, right? Okay, I found it. Okay, I, I was going around in a complete circle there. Right. Okay, just get rid of this fly. I'm hopefully I'll get some more health off of him. Not that I need it, because I think I'll complete this now with no problems. Okay, that leads to another berry. Okay, where do I find an urn? Okay, where... No, great. How... Or where do I go here? Nope, that still doesn't help. Sorry about this, guys. I'm kind of struggling here on exactly what to do here. Or where to go. Maybe this might help me. Right. So there's a pack of playing cards there that I'm supposed to use. Oh, right. It was right around the corner. Of course it was. Right. I've done it. It's okay. I've... Oh, come on. There we are. Come on. There we are. Thank you. I was like, are you not going to notice me? That's all of us in. Off we go. Yep, off we go indeed. But before we do that, we've got to fight somebody first. And th I might end up failing on this next boss, guys. I'm not going to lie, because it's very easy to lose health on this next boss, unless if you're very careful. So, the bug bar. So, obviously, like in bar, sometimes there's fights that happen. So, this is the fight. Horsefly Mayhem, defeat Thud. So... Oh, this is going to be... This is going to be a pain. So... Right. Where do I find... See, what I don't like about this level is the fact that there's obstacles, like, everywhere. And you could easily run into those obstacles and, like... Oh, no, no. Right. Just get the... Oh. If, I'm, if I remember correctly, doesn't he, like, throw berries at you or something? Yeah, he does. He, he throws berries at me as well. Crap, no. No, 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 Come on, look, yes. Luckily, though, he does give you health, so that's a good thing. So, hopefully, if you're careful, um, he will not end up... Okay, just go, go, go. No, oh, no, oh, crap. Come on, get the health, get the health, get that. Yes, thank you. Oh, no, damn it, and I just ended up losing it again. Damn it. I'm probably going to end up dying here, I'm not going to lie. No, 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 get the health. Yes, good. Whew, right, good. Right now, hit them again. 
good. As long as I'm able to keep up that bit of health, then I should be fine. I'm getting on well here. I'm doing well, guys. Well, we're all making through together. Right, where is he? Oh, he kind of disappeared there. Right, there, there, there he is. No. Yes, fly away and never return. Uh, I don't know why I'm quoting, kind of quoting the Lion King. Fly, fly away and never return. <laughs> oh, you know, this doesn't even relate after all. Okay, good. Even though I ended up losing a bit of health at the end there, I ended up defeating him, so... Okay, so that's a bit scary. I actually thought I was going to fail on the third boss there, but I succeeded. So, we're still good. This makes me think, actually, as well, uh, as far as it goes for a Let's Play of this, well, since this is not 100% technically, I could still do a Let's Play of this for 100% and, and show you exactly what to do to get 100%. Alright, All right, so now, level 10, assemble the bird. So find all the parts of the mechanical bird. Now, I think if I remember correctly, I think I know where the locations are. It's just a matter of actually just, yeah. if my memory this will serve me correctly, and I hope it does. Yeah. Okay, so just jump up here. It doesn't work. Right, okay, I'm just gonna have to make my way down here then. I like the music here. For some reason, this music reminds me of Rayman 1 for some reason. Like, the instrumentation used here in this uh, theme here for this level. But it also reminds you of, like, a, a tropical paradise as well. That's what it also reminds me of. Okay, I'm just going to try and get that other green token there. Okay, just get rid of this uh, spider here. I think that's a spider. There we are. Right, now if I just carry the seed down to the bottom there. And then I could just uh, get up there and get that checkpoint. Basically, that's the first thing you want to do in this, just make your way up to the upper ledges there. Yeah. Like that. Okay, so good. Okay, so can I make my way up there without using it? Yeah. Aye, there we are. So the first uh, piece is in here. Yep. And for some reason, like when I hit like Gypsy there, I get a cutscene didn't trigger. From the most mysterious reaches of uncharted Asia, I give you the Chamber of Metamorphosis. Gypsy, my dear, I require your assistance. Transformation, transformation, transformation. The Voila. Awaits. That's it. Okay, so that's the first piece. Now, four more to go. So, yeah, I know I can math, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, I can math, so what, but any, uh, so, I think, now where's the next place I've got to go? I think I've got to go to the upper ledge up there now, I think. Yeah, just gotta go up here now. Because there, is another piece I've got to collect up here. Oh, worm, no. No earthworm gym, but wor a worm at the same time, yeah. In the Verm Gaming reference there. So what else to say? The... In fact, actually guys, I actually want to hear what, what you want to say, actually. See, for a bug's life, what's your opinion of a bug's life? That's my first question for you, like, um, did you, like, what did you think of the, the movie, if you've seen it? And, uh, the game as well, if you've got the game, what do you think of it? I mean, uh, do you like it, or do you not like it? And, uh, what is it that you do like about it, what do you not like about it? And, uh, also, as far as goes to Pixar films, I did talk about that as well. Um, what's your favourite Disney Pixar film that you've seen? out of all the films that you've seen. That's uh, my questions to you guys for this video. Or, well, actually, no, this is part two, actually. Or, actually, no, we'll be coming to part three quite shortly, actually. So, uh, farewell for part two, guys. And, uh, it's been a, hell a heck of a ride so far. So, uh, part three will be coming your way shortly. Well, within the next uh, 15 seconds. Okay, so... There's another checkpoint. Why well, have two checkpoints there? Like, that's a bit confusing, or that's a bit, a bit. I don't see why that's necessary, but no, 
Go away. There we are. 